Angles and angle pairs are everywhere in geometry. The four types of angles in geometry are acute angles, obtuse angles, right angles, and straight angles. Two types of angle pairs are complementary angles and supplementary angles. Complementary angles sum to exactly 90 degrees, or exactly pi divided by 2 radians. Supplementary angles sum to exactly 180 degrees, or exactly pi radians. Supplementary angles are easy to see if they are paired together, sharing a common side, because supplementary angles sharing a common side will form a straight line. Supplementary angles can also share a common vertex, but not share a common side, like this. Supplementary angles can also have no common sides or common vertex. Let's look at the properties of supplementary angles. Supplementary angles have two properties. Only two angles can sum to 180 degrees. Three or more angles may sum to 180 degrees or pi radians, but they are not considered supplementary. The two angles must either be right angles, or one must be an acute angle, and the other an obtuse angle. Let's try it. Here are eight sets of angles in degrees. Identify the ones that are supplementary. Feel free to pause the video while you work. The only sets that sum to 180 degrees are the first, fifth, sixth, and eighth pairs. Only those pairs are supplementary angles. The third set has three angles that sum to 180 degrees, but three angles cannot be supplementary. Supplementary angles are seen in three geometry theorems. Two theorems involve parallel lines. Congruent Supplements Theorem says that if two angles, we'll call them angle C and angle A, are both supplementary to a third angle, we'll call it angle T, then angle C and angle A are congruent. We know two true statements from the theorem. 1. Angle A plus angle T equals 180 degrees. 2. Angle C plus angle T equals 180 degrees. Since either angle C or angle A can complete the equation, then angle C equals angle A. Next is the same side interior angles theorem. If a transversal intersects two parallel lines, then the interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. A transversal through two lines creates eight angles, four of which can be paired off as same side interior angles. The converse of the same side interior angles theorem is also true. The converse theorem tells us that if a transversal intersects two lines and the interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary, then the lines are parallel. This is an especially useful theorem for proving lines are parallel. Here are two lines and a transversal, with the measures for two same side interior angles shown. Since the converse of the theorem tells us the interior angles will be supplementary if the lines are parallel, and we see that 145 degrees plus 35 degrees equals 180 degrees, then the lines must be parallel. Finally, we have consecutive angles in a parallelogram are supplementary, which states that one property of a parallelogram is that their consecutive angles, angles next to each other sharing a side, are supplementary. Here is parallelogram M-A-T-H. Whichever angle you choose, that angle and the angle next to it, in either direction, will sum to 180 degrees. Go ahead, try it. This property stems directly from the same side interior angles theorem, because any side of a parallelogram can be thought of as a transversal of two parallel sides. A common place to find supplementary angles is in carpentry. Supplementary angles reveal themselves in repeated patterns, where right angles form windows, bricks, floor tiles, and ceiling panels. Look around you. You will see supplementary angles everywhere.